It's hot. You're hot. I'm hot. Every day it feels like we're breaking heat records. Global warming. Scary sh Here's the deal though. I don't have air conditioning and I've been spending the last few sleepless nights googling how to cool my house without it. And then I found this. This ancient AC system will cool your house without electricity. And I was like, I can make that. die before and um, what I'm realizing is that you need to cut um, the bottom here so that when you take it off it is able to stand on its end because if you lay them flat at least with the clay that I'm using it would be better with a groggy clay but with the clay that I'm using it's just gonna bag it so you need to cut this flat and then stand them up so that they can harden up We did lose one, <laughs> but um, I don't really know how else to deal with the drying of these because if you lay them on their side, they just smush kind of like this one is doing. So I made sure that the bottoms were as flat as possible and then I just, and I think they're maybe going to stay up. We'll see, <laughs> I guess tomorrow. And then we can try like putting them together. So just going to slowly back out of the room and not touch anything. Okay, can you see me? It's the next day and everything that survived yesterday survived today. My tubes are tubin and they're much drier now so they can hold their shape. Um, so let's talk a little bit about my plan that I have. Okay, before anyone asks me, I'm using Procreate to sketch this. Um, I use that for a lot of my projects. This is admittedly not the nicest sketch that I've ever made. <laughs> But this is what I'm thinking. Traditionally, you're supposed to use earthenware clay, but I don't have any of that, so I just used my stoneware, and I'm going to fire it under the point of vitrification so that it won't be vitrified, so that it will stay porous. The important part here is that the clay is porous afterwards. So the way it actually cools the room is through the process of evaporation. So you pour water into these tubes and then the water slowly like wicks through the pores, like it slowly evaporates through the pores, cooling the water, cooling the pottery, and therefore theoretically cooling the room. I've never done this before, so once I've finished making it, we'll test how it actually works. So you guys know <laughs> if this is a good idea or not. Like the idea is the same as what happens to humans when they're sweating, right? So the process of evaporation of our sweat, it's not actually the sweating part, it's the process of evaporation that cools our skin, apparently. Hello. Okay, so back to the design. The idea is of course to have the most surface area as possible. So I'm thinking about like arranging the tubes maybe in like a flower kind of pattern. So like next to each other in a circle. And then at the bottom, I need something heavy to weigh it down. So I'm thinking just like a thick slab of clay, something like that, that they'll sit on top of. And then because the whole thing is going to be not vitrified and porous, I was worried about it leaking to the bottom. So I'm also going to make um, 
like a little tray that is fired, that is glazed to sit at the bottom and collect any drips. So that's the idea. I'm so anxious to see if this was gonna work. Let's do it. Okay, change of plans. I had to trim them because they're not gonna fit in my kiln. Otherwise, unfortunately, my kiln is very short and ugh, it's just something I have to live with. You can support me by buying my online classes or buying my templates or simply sharing this video with your friends and then I could buy a bigger kiln. <laughs> but here's the change of plans. I actually like when they're clustered like this. I think they look really cool and I really like how completely organic the shape has gotten. Um, I'm not gonna change that. I'm not going to make them perfect. I think that they look like growths, like a fungus or a lichen or a coral. Actually, they look a lot like coral. Ooh, coral to save the coral reefs. Okay, so everything's assembled. Um, I've wrapped them up in plastic as you can see because I'm a little worried about cracking. So if you're new to pottery, cracking is most likely to happen when you have two pieces that you're trying to stick together that have different levels of dryness because clay shrinks as it dries. And if one is very wet, it's going to shrink way more than one that's almost already dry and you get a crack along the line where those two pieces connect. So what happens when you wrap everything in plastic is you kind of create a very humid environment where all of the wetness levels can equalize. That's the idea. I usually leave them like this for 24 hours and then I'll slowly start to unwrap them. So these will slowly dry now over the next few days. I'm not going to let them fully dry though. I basically want them to dry to leather hard and then I can go in and smooth things out, make things more pretty. Still gonna keep that organic quality to it, but um, maybe a little bit more, more put together. <laughs> That's the plan. So I'll see you then. Here's the aftermath of my chaotic clay session. Don't worry about all of this waste clay though. It's all gonna get recycled into new clay.
Let me share some stats with you. So while over 90% of households in the US have air conditioning, this number goes down to one third when you're talking worldwide. The current stats for here in Europe are around 10% and that number falls even lower, 8% when you're talking about the hottest and poorest nations of the world. Here's the deal though, due to their high energy consumption, air conditioners actually exacerbate global warming. A 2002 study found that 4% of global emissions are due to air conditioners. There has to be a better way. Now, I have to say I'm not inventing this concept or anything. Humans have been using this technique specifically to cool water for thousands of years. So maybe it's a good idea to take a little bit of inspiration from our incredibly intelligent ancestors and get back to something that's a little bit more passive. No shade to anyone who's using AC. No shade. But, um... It's not sustainable. We can't keep doing this forever. cracks. Very happy about that. <laughs> Let's test them out. So I placed them on this towel here. It's not ideal. Um, ideally, I would have like a little plate for them to sit on, but I didn't have time to make that. Um, so I'm going to test it out. The towel will hopefully protect the ground. And if this works, I'll make like a custom plate to go underneath it to collect any water. Because it's definitely going to leak because it's not vitrified. The whole point of this is the porosity. Let's see how it goes. I have my little thermometer here. So it is 23 degrees Celsius and 67 degrees Fahrenheit. So I'm going to leave this for a couple of hours with the door closed, window closed, everything, and just see what happens in this room, if it cools the room. It's also like midday, so if anything, it's only going to get hotter outside. So yeah, check back in a couple of hours. Okay, so it's a couple hours later and we are at <laughs> 21 and a half Celsius. Um, so it's actually 66 degrees Fahrenheit. So it is one degree less in Fahrenheit. <laughs> Okay, so obviously one degree cooler or one degree Fahrenheit cooler is not ideal. <laughs> it's not um, enough. Although I have to say it did feel a lot cooler when I came in here. And I don't know if it's just cause I had like the blinds drawn and the door closed, but um, it has gotten like really hot out and this room has stayed relatively cool. I don't know how much of it I can attribute to <laughs> my little air conditioner, but I do wanna say these feel cold. They actually feel like really cold and the water inside is cold. So theoretically this would work if supplied in enough quantity, 
I mean, even like here, I like kind of feel the ambient coolness from them. This is not a practical design for the home. Let me like, I'm not trying to justify <laughs> that this is like working and I'm, that I'm going to use this for the home, but theoretically this would work. So if you're up for a big project and you want to fill your room with little terracotta tubes, I think this could work. Am I going to use this? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. So anyway, I hope that this video was interesting and fun for you to watch. Uh, even if my air conditioner didn't actually turn out to cool the air more than a degree. But if you're interested in functional pottery projects like this that are a little bit outside of the box, definitely check this video out here. This is the video where I built a sink for my studio. So check that out next. Bye friends.